this lecture is about uh, almost the last lecture uh, follow from uh, from the previous lecture we talk about the the this routing but in this case it says the second uh, routing second type routing we call the channel routing okay channel routing the storage is the function of the board inflow and outflow and inflow so we can explain that yes this is a is a function of inflow and outflow compared to the the residual routing the storage is a function of the outflow because of the the <coughs> storage is the is larger than the channel uh, larger than uh, the channel flow and larger compared to the inflow and the water surface in the channel ridge is not parallel to the channel bottom but is also vary with time and, and we, if we measure the, the total volume and uh, store in the storage we can divide into type the first is we call the prism storage okay this I can show you that this uh, prism storage this is it like the prism and on the top of the prism is this uh, waste storage okay, okay. That is how to measure the volume of the water in the channel. Okay, to explain the ch channel routing, uh, we use the equation of uh, mass income equation. Is one equation to show the channel routing for a cross section for a channel cross section. The relationship between the water level H and the water and the flow rate Q is a function is in form of the power function of the a and it is constant so this this q is a function of the a time water level uh, power n so we can rearrange to get this the the h is function of q and the relationship between the water level and storage is also in form the power function of b and m is a constant so s is a function of the power function of uh, water level and we can arrange s in terms of the same way storage is a function of the inflow and outflow so we can write that s is a function of inflow and outflow and we can substitute uh, the <coughs> inflow and outflow in this equation and we use x to represent the weighting factor between inflow and outflow okay. <coughs> and x is in between 0 and 0.5 okay. and to simplify this equation we Simplify that m over n is equal to 1 and b over a is k. So we can arrange this to get the equation. Okay, so this is equation for channel routing. And k is then we call the uh, storage time constant in case of the x is equal to 0.5 so it means the the <coughs> s storage is a function of, of both info and also is equally is function but in case of x is equal to zero it means s is a kq so k s is only the function of the outflow only so in this case is a is a reversible routing From uh, water balance equation, we inflow subtract outflow is a chain of storage with time. So we uh, repre represent as the uh, average volume between the time step time one and time two in this equation, and we arrange the equation for s one s two. Okay, from the uh, chain of routing equation and the next we choose the delta t between k over 3 and k and substitute in the both equation and we can arrange to get this equation so this outflow at time step 2 is equal to 
constituents time uh, flow at time step 2 c1 time inflow at time step 1 and c2 time outflow at time step 1 so and to estimate the c0 c1 c2 we have to use the kx and delta t to estimate and the, the one property of this constant is the summation of the c is equal to 1 okay if we can in a general in step we can write in terms of equation 20.8 and this show the the inflow and outflow okay this is of inflow and this is hydrograph of the outflow we expect that the the peak of the outflow is smaller so we call the attenuation of the peaks and this is uh, the lacking of this time and uh, the time lag between the peak of the outflow and inflow okay why because of this storage this storage is keep in the channel and release from the storage some of the uh, storage can be keep in the channel and release later after uh, passing this point okay passing this point 